This is part four, a practical demonstration of how to sail. So we're going to demonstrate launching, close hauling, reaching, running, tacking, jibing. We'll do a navigation exercise and demonstrate a landing. So we'll start by launching the boat. Jump in the front seat. See, it's weather vaning. We're gonna to have to go into wind. I can't turn it the other way <laughs> because the boat will automatically just point into wind. It's called weather vaning. I'll see if I can paddle out. If the wind might not be too strong for that. Let's have a go. Let's bring it around. Yeah. Getting offshore. Okay, put your brush drive in. Sorry? Can't push my chair back in the middle of Nope. But you can adjust the foot pedals. Sorry. Oh, we're floating here. Except for Keith, he's a short ass. <laughs> oh, sweet. There you go. So you just push this in and set your setting. We'll go see us. How does that feel? That's six. Go five. How's that? Yeah. Now the control by your right, what their right hand sitting on is the is the um, the dagger board or the keel. You lift it up, pull it back. Okay, keel's down, rudder's down. Now we're ready to deploy the sail. We're in enough depth, so please uncleat the furling line. Good. <laughs> Okay, so we are now doing what? Uh, it goes out to double dive. Yep, so are we close hold, reaching or running? We're running. Good, good, we are currently running. So let's go onto a reach. So, instructor's demonstration. I'm gonna bring it around to the left start pulling this sail in and we should start speeding up so feel the wind where's the wind where's the wind coming from good yep so we're on a beam reach so what I want to do now we're going so slow that the wind's so light that we're not getting any uh, any real telltales on the, on the sail so I just play with it letting it in and out to see where we get the best speed. Going a bit faster there. Do I leave the sail? No, I leave the filling line off, it's fully out. So you just leave it. Cool. Okay, you ready to do some sailing? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna let this main sheet off. So grab your main sheet. Black one. Black one. That one there. This one? No, 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 the, the one going oh, through the, yeah, and start pulling the main sheet on. You'll have to pull a fair bit because I've let off heaps of slack at my end. Okay, that's about nice. There so we've we got the water coming off the beam. This is your rudder, so make sure you steer. Pick a point on the horizon. Okay, you're coming into a closer to a close haul position here. Yeah, that's about right. Let's run across the lake. Beautiful. Hey. Wind's starting to get a little bit stronger. You can relax, mate. I'll. Uh, you're in charge. I'll take care of this for you, buddy. Couldn't ask for better conditions, eh? So you're coming into a close haul now, so you're turning into the wind. So pull your sail in. <laughs> pull it right in, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. There we go. Okay, so your telltales are both flying at the moment. If you have a look up at your sail, got those two streamers. That's how you want them, both like that, both flapping and facing backwards along the sail. 
if one of them flips forward your sail's gone out of trim so this is your best trim position right now okay so keep pointing the same way yep so okay see one of the telltales is flipping back the one on the outside so you can let your sail out a little bit uh no nah, oh you turned her so okay that's pretty well right in trim now so we're moving nicely what are we doing about 10 kilometers 15 kilometers an hour thereabouts fast jog maybe a slow run how easy is this oh it's beautiful mate <laughs> okay we should be able to do this all the way across the lake <laughs> yep okay so the inside's stalled so you want to pull your sail in a bit just keep pulling it in until the inside comes off the stall yep is that as far as it goes nah i should go further than that there yep that's good that's trimmed watch your direction see how fast we're going now so the wind's picked up the wind changes direction as we sail. Now the inside's starting to stall, so just bring around to the right just a little bit. There, okay, cool. Yeah, just keep an eye on those telltales. They they tell you what the sail's doing because we're currently uh, we're we're, near, we're we're at a close reach at the moment. We're nearly close hauled. See the wind's there, so we're not quite at 45, but we're getting sort of close. And so yeah, we, that wind will probably change direction on us again at some point. Woohoo! Okay, wind's picked up. Oh, there you go. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of your sail stalling, so bring it around to the right slightly or pull the sail in. Pull your sail in, pull your sail in a bit more, pull her in a bit more. Pull! Pull, man! Pull! Hey! Put your weight into it. It's not easy. Pull! Come on, man, use those muscles. Yep. So there's a little bit of coordination involved. You've got to focus on steering, watching your telltales, trimming your sail. If you want to just do the sail, I can steer for you. If you just want to focus on the sail. Do you want to do that or are you happy doing the whole lot? Uh, yeah, you can steer. See, yeah, sort of going all over the place here. Okay, let's bring it around to about here. All right, now you watch those telltales. If the outside one's doing that, you need to let the sail out. See the outside one's looking back. Yeah, keep letting her out. There we go, that looks good. They're both flying. Oh, yeah, and if the inside one starts to stall, you pull the sail in. Beautiful. And I'll just maintain a constant wind's uh, dropped off a bit. It does that, okay. And now the outside's starting to stall, so you want to let her out. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, that looks good, they're both flying. Just keep both those telltales flying. They're a bit hard to read when the... They do get a bit hard to read when the wind gets light. See the inside one's stalling now. So pull her in. Yep, there we go. So for reaching and for sailing close hauled, you're constantly riding those telltales. You don't need to worry about it when you're running because the sail's not acting like a wing. That wind keeps shifting. Yeah, pull her in a bit more. Yep, that's good. So we're getting close to a close haul here. I worked out why I was hard to pull in. I had it in the clean position. Oh yeah. <laughs> Helps to knock Good it out. Yeah. So this is a close reach. We're at the moment, so wind's about there. So if it, if it was there, it would be close haul, close reach, beam reach, long reach, running <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> in this constantly shifting wind you've got to constantly chase the perfect sail trim and then you get good speed like this good sailing there brother you're flying nice <laughs> Inside start to stall. You feel the boat slowing down. There it goes. That's good, that's good. Now she's flying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Good sailing, get rewarded with plenty of spray. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay, so we've successfully crossed the lake. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a fast reach. Now, what direction do we have to go to be on a reach? Uh, just off 45 degrees of the wind coming towards us. That's close hold, 45. We're so, close hold at the moment. <laughs> Where's the reach? The reach is from the sales point outwards. No. Uh, where's the wind on the reach? It's off our... Is it in front of us, behind us, or next to us? Next to us. Good. So we want the wind to our side. So which direction do we have to go to put the wind on our side? Uh, I suppose a little bit more to the right. That's right. So we're gonna let the sail out a little bit and go into a reach. Okay, so just uncleat it to keep pressure on it. Yep, and start, start your turn. Yep, want the waves coming from the side. Keep turning until they're coming from the side. Keep going. About there, I reckon. Now let your sail out and until it's trimmed. So it's stalled on the inside. You want to pull it in a bit. A bit more. About there, I reckon. Woohoo! Okay, and keep your angle. Keep the wind off the beam. Keep your sail trimmed. So you've got to steer and... So you, you need to let the sail out a bit. I keep my sail uncleated and I and I'm, and I work it. That's it. Work, let it out a bit. Watch your direction. Keep the wind off the beam. Let the sail out a bit. Let, there we go. Keep your direction. You don't turn off. Turn away from the wind. That's it. About there. Keep there. Check your sail. It needs to come out a bit more. I think the wind's gone behind you. <coughs> so bring it around a bit. There we go, now the wind's next to us. Okay, so pull your sail in a little bit. Keep your direction. That's it. Yeah, so trim and steer. But keep an eye on, have an aiming mark on the shoreline, just keep aiming for it. And keep trimming that sail. Pull it in, let it out. So pull it in, inside stalled. Pull her in some more. That's it. Keep working, it's good exercise sailing. <laughs> it's a lot of work pulling on that line. You can quickly let go of the rudder and pull and then grab the rudder again. The rudder holds its position. So you don't have to have your hand always on the rudder. You can use both hands on the on the main sheet if you need it. So inside stalled, pull her in. That's it. I usually use my body, so I'll grab it and use my whole body to pull it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and don't forget to keep her pointed in the right direction. Good, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn and run downwind. So turn to the right, starboard side, and start letting your sail out. Let your sail out, let your sail out as you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going until the wind's just on the back of your left ear. But don't go all the way around. Now there. Yeah, if you go any further, you're going to jibe. Okay, so now we're running downwind. Sails out. Yep, that's good. It's just acting like a bucket. You don't have to trim it. No trimming required. If you come around too far, the sail will jibe on you. So we just want to run downwind. Running downwind is really easy and simple. Keep the wind behind you and slightly off to one side. Just make sure your sail is out as far as you can go without it flapping around or starting to lose its shape. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start running upwind, okay? So currently we're running downwind. So we're going to have to close haul the sail and run as close to the wind as you can get. Okay, so start hauling your sail in. That's it, as tight as you can get it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, bring it around to the left. Or port side, watch your trim and get her running upwind as close as you can get it. So watching your sail, watching your streamers. Getting close. 
There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's run up wind for a bit. Bash up wind. <laughs> so you want to be about 45 degrees to the waves. That's about where, where you're closest. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're now close hauled and I'm controlling the sail through steering. So with steering, it's the opposite. We've got a pelican following us, sailing flying along with us. So if the outside of the sail stalls, we turn, we turn uh, to windward. And if the inside of the sail stalls, we turn leeward, away from the wind. So yeah, she's pumping along. Really happy at the moment. So do you want to have a go at trimming by steering? Uh, sure. Don't worry, you don't need the sail now because you're close hauled. Yep. Okay, so watch those. You're sailing off those, so yep, they're looking good at the moment. They're both flying. Now see the outside starting to stall. Need to turn left. Port. Yep, about there. Yep, keep her there. Now that now she's trimmed. She's happy. Yep, if the inside stalls, then we turn away from the wind. But yeah, the inside's starting to stall. Turn away from the wind. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. They're both flying. She's happy. She's really moving. Yeah, we're pumping along. Okay, outside stalling. You need to turn into the wind a bit. There we go. A bit more, a bit more. About there, yep. Just watch those streamers. And every so often look around to make sure you're not sailing into something. <laughs> we can skim the trees, but we don't want to sail into them. <laughs> that pelican loves us, eh? <laughs> he's, just, he's just following us. Okay, see the outside stalling, so we come around to the left a bit more, into the wind. Yeah, about there. We've, we've hit a thermal, I reckon, and I reckon it'll swing the other way. Yep, see the inside stalling now, so we swing back out. Yep, about there. They're both flying. And now the outside ones, yeah, they're sort of happy. Oh, they're working all right, those streamers. So we're just in the dead spot in the thermal now. The center of it. That's what he's riding, I reckon. They cut, the pelicans come and ride the thermals to stay up so they don't have to flap their wings too much. Yep, now we've got wind again. So yeah, just keep checking your streamers. This is good. Doing good, bro. Yep, she's happy. What about these three flames? Oh, uh, we haven't hit them. Them, so <laughs> I think we'll miss them. If, like, we'll just go into a reach if we get too close to them. But we want to stick. Generally, you want to stay upwind because it's easier to get back and easier to maneuver if you stay upwind than if you go downwind because if you go downwind then we have to tack back upwind again and tacking sucks <laughs> we'll do some anyway to teach you how to do it but it's something you want to try and avoid trying to get Adam to actually look at his sail he's driving this thing like a car and always looking out the front if you do that you'll never be able to close haul the boat effectively you got to watch that sail all the time. You look around a little bit, but you spend most of your time trimming the sail. That means, see, the wind's over there. We're miles off. There we go. Don't get too close either. Watch the sail. What's the sail doing? Uh, the inside's not doing much. Yeah, that's good. Now, see, both streamers are flying. That's where you want it. Wind's low, which is why we're going a bit slower. Yeah, watch the sail. I can't emphasize that enough. When you're running up wind, you got to watch that sail all the time. It tells you exactly what's going on. Yeah, that's better. Just keep her trimmed. Good neck exercise. <laughs> Adam is a machine. Look at us, we're flying. We are flying. Adam's getting better all the time. A few days of doing this and he'll have it down pat. Good shooting. <laughs> If you strike wind that's too strong, simply uncleat the main and let go of the main sheet. This will depower the sail and get you out of trouble. But if it's not an emergency, just furl the sail. Our master's bending a fair bit. We might have to furl the sail. Let the main off. Main off. Let it off. Yep. Okay, main on. Keep going. We want a close haul. Keep going. Keep pulling. That's it. Keep pulling. Muscles. Keep pulling. Okay. I'm 
just going to demonstrate as we go around this mark a close haul and then attack as we go around the mark i'm going to go into a close haul and then i'm going to bring her through attack passing the mark pull the sail on nice and tight turn her into the wind which is about there so we're currently running upwind and if we want to go for attack there's a couple of ways of doing it the easy way is you hit the pedals go for a turn and the sail will simply come across like so and then we just steer the trim you need to lean to the high side yeah wait wait to the high side not the low side and then we bring around again so stand by to tuck three two one and tucking and as the sail comes across make sure you're always on the opposite side of that sail <laughs> so we bring her over she catches the wind and off we go steering to trim so that's how we tack. So the wind's there, like if you look over to your, over your right shoulder, the wind's there. We're at about 45 degrees to the wind here, thereabouts. Makes sense. Tacking without using the pedals can be quite difficult. The boat tends to stall when it's going through the tack. I release the main sheet as I go into my turn, allow it to flap, catch the wind on the far side, and then the sail will pull me around. I go into basically a reach, allow the boat to accelerate, then I haul in the main sheet and go into the close hauled position. A good alternative if you're not going to use the pedals. Okay, you want to try to tack? Right, so so before you go, I'll jump in the back and you, you just hit the pedals and you bring it around. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Hit the pedals and round to the left. Go, 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 go. Hit the pedals nice and hard. That's it, keep going until you catch the wind. And I'll get on the high side. And then keep her nice and close. So you stalled the outside of the sail. We can get much closer than this. We're running, we're breaching at the moment. Losing lots of, lots of ground. Keep going, you can go closer than this. A lot closer. Yeah, if you don't, don't stay close, then you'll never penetrate. Good. Nice. You're in charge, you tell me when you want to take. I usually run fairly close to the shore and then bring it round. Uh, if we're attacking from here, we're attacking on that right-hand side? Yeah, you'll go, have to go across the wind. Yep, through the wind. Right back. And back in. Too far, too far. How's that? There we go, now we're running. Oh. That's it. Oh, good. Good angle. <laughs> Before you attack, make sure you give your passengers some warning. You don't want them to be on the wrong side of the sail. Hit those pedals nice and hard and turn sharply. Once you're facing into the wind, your sail will lose power and your boat will start going backwards on you if you take your time. So a nice quick turn, catch the wind, don't turn in too far, trim the sail and off you go. Yeah, so we just want to run downwind. Okay. So let's do a jibe. Now when you jibe, make sure you call it out. Like announce, just say jibing before you do it. So people know that the sail's gonna come flying over. Right. right, so call out jibing. Jibing. Okay, turn to the right, starboard side. And as the wind passes behind us, the sail's gonna violently fly over. Okay, we've jibed and keep going straight. Let's, um, let's head down to the cafe, eh? I've given Adam a little challenge to see if he's figured out how to sail. So Adam's currently doing his navigation exercise. I gave him the task of navigating across the lake to, uh, to the bridge and uh, he had to pick his line, read the wind and uh, get the boat across and he's succeeding in doing so. Doing good bro. So we're just looking out now for the uh, the bridge. So I slept about halfway across. <laughs> All right, Adam's got to figure out how to get get through here. Got to get under that low bridge and across into the creek behind and into Loch Luna. Okay, let's drop this sail.
main channel goes that way but there's a lake there so just pedaling along uh, through Loch Luna it's really surreal here just going through the stumps taking it nice and slow because of the uh, there's a lot of potential things here we can strike so we don't want to be moving fast don't need the sail it's just going to create drag so we'll leave it down get a bit of a workout lose a bit of weight with this wind direction, it'll be nice coming back. We're pedaling into the wind. So why have they got a red tag on it? It's a channel marker. It'll tell you where to go. The green was go. Didn't red stop, is it? Red is port, which means left. Well, I presume that means you've got to keep left of it. So when you paddle in, come in nice and fast. And then we end up coming up on the bank. Uh, if you come in really slow, like well, you don't really connect to the shore. It's be a good little camping spot, eh? Well, this joint's just a mozzie pit, so getting swarmed with tiger mosquitoes. So we're not gonna hang around here. Look at these bastards. Fuck off. Look at that sucker. Yeah, I find you don't have problems with bugs too much when you're on the water, but if you go ashore, it's a whole different story. There we go. Captain Adam. He's doing a good job. Well, Adam passes his Navex. Successfully navigated across the lake. We then went for a little bit of a cruise up Loch Luna, got attacked by mosquitoes came back and then he's navigated us all the way back again and I've slept half the way really yeah <laughs> it's very nice out here good job bro mm. but Adam's a bit soft so we better go back and have some creature comforts <laughs> When you're coming ashore, it's best to be upwind of the landing site. It just makes it easier to manoeuvre. You can come in fast onto a soft bank, but if it's concrete or a pier or something like that, it's best to come in slowly. The most important thing is to avoid damaging the projections below the boat, the mirage drives and the rudder in particular. Pull the mirage drives out while you're still in deeper water and uh, unlock the rudder so if it does impact the bottom, it'll kick up but you'll still be able to steer. Coming into lands, Adam's brought, bringing us in upwind of our landing site, which is where we want to be. So probably around now, we want to think about furling and dropping the mast. So we're only about a minute off landing. So main off. Yep. Okay. Keels up. So yeah, no, it's probably a good idea to unlock the rudder. Yeah, that one. Yeah, just leave it unlocked. Don't pull the rudder up. Yeah, just leave it unlocked because you still want to be able to steer. So find yourself a nice soft piece of beach for us to pull in on. And what I like to do is accelerate fast towards it and then pull the mirage drive out. And you want to you want to pull your mirage drive out and raise the rudder. So aim for beach. Make sure you don't aim for the concrete. Yep, don't put me into concrete. I'm going straight towards concrete. <laughs> I'm still going straight towards concrete. <laughs> it's better. Okay. Mirage drive out. Don't put me on concrete. <laughs> Rudder up. Okay. 
we're in. Adam's feedback from his several days out on the water was that sailing was a lot more difficult than he anticipated. It was a lot more physical than he expected. And it was a load of fun. So well done on watching this all the way through. Should give you a, a really good grounding for when you come out sailing. See you on the waves.